Hey friends, Barky Dog back with another movie review. This time we're looking at what I feel is one of the most underrated action movies of the 1990s. That having been said, this is not what you might consider an upper echelon action movie like a Stallone or Arnold picture. Even so, it's a lot better than it gets credit for. I'm talking about 1998's Black Dog. The Black Dog in the title is an apparition. In several dangerous or stressful professions, pilots, soldiers, race car drivers, and so on, where the people doing it push themselves too far, too long, and go beyond the burnout point. They often speak of seeing the elephant, or seeing the rhino, or the black dog. This legendary apparition is a harbinger of doom and a warning to slow down, decompress, and walk away before it's too late. Our story is about a truck-driving trucker, Jack Cruz, played by Patrick Swayze. Cruz is an expert at trucking and has driven the big trucks his whole life. One rainy night, Cruz sees the black dog. He's pushing himself too hard and starts to fall asleep at the wheel. He sees the dog in the road up ahead and then it runs toward him and leaps at the windshield. He wakes up just as he hits a car on the side of the road, killing the occupants. He goes to jail for manslaughter and has just been released on parole. This is where we join the story. Cruz had his license revoked for life so he can no longer drive the trucks he loves. He gets a job at a garage in Newark, New Jersey, working on trucks as a mechanic. One day his boss offers him a job making a run from Georgia back to Newark hauling black market goods. Cruz is a good guy trying to take care of his family and do the right thing, and he can't afford to break parole, so he declines. Later that night, he finds out his wife has been keeping a secret from him. Their house is about to be foreclosed on. The job Cruz was offered will pay just enough to cover the debt, so he agrees to take it. In Georgia, he picks up the shipment from Meatloaf. <laughs> That's right, the bat out of hell guy. Here, he plays a southern fried crook spouting Bible verses. Three of his henchmen go along for the ride, including one played by country singer Randy Travis. One of the three is an undercover agent for the FBI, and another is keeping in touch with Meatloaf so he knows where they are. These allegiances are revealed as the movie progresses. Turns out the shipment is comprised of illegal automatic weapons, and Meatloaf wants to hijack it. This is one of the biggest flaws in the movie, since Meatloaf had the guns to begin with. He could have just saved himself the trouble and simply said they got hijacked, but then it wouldn't be an action movie, would it? <laughs> anyway, the action starts off right away as Meatloaf and his remaining henchmen try to get the shipment. Cruz isn't having any of that, and what started as a simple delivery haul explodes into a running battle between Cruz and Meatloaf, all the way to New Jersey. Meanwhile, the stakes are raised when Cruz's boss back in Newark decides Cruz is more trouble than he's worth. He kidnaps Cruz's wife and daughter as insurance to keep Cruz in line and guarantee delivery. I saw Black Dog when it came out in the theater and it was a blast. Good cast, fine acting, Randy Travis is a surprise, he's, he's not bad. The soundtrack augments the action and they throw in a few country songs too. And the stunts and crashes with the big rigs are like 
nothing you've ever seen anywhere else. This picture moves, man. True, it's not perfect. There are a few lapses in logic. Uh, sometimes the story is a bit by the numbers, and sometimes it feels a little lightweight. There's a few continuity errors where a vehicle is damaged in one shot, but not in the next, you know, that kind of thing. But that's fairly minor. Overall, Black Dog is a wild ride that keeps a steady pace all the way to the end. Kevin Sorbo was originally slated to star in this, but had to drop out due to health issues. So Patrick Swayze took on the role of Jack Cruz. His career at that point was definitely on the decline after a string of box office failures, and the lackluster box office for Black Dog didn't help. Black Dog turned out to be the last studio movie built around Swayze as the lead star. I'm giving this one mm, two and a half paws. True, the story may be only worth two paws, but the action sequences definitely earn it that extra half paw. It's very watchable and a lot of fun. Black Dog is available on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and digitally from Amazon Prime. If you want an actioner with big rigs blowing up and bashing into any and all obstacles, this is for you. Black Dog may not be perfect, but it hits a lot of the right notes. Definitely an underrated movie. Well, that's all I have for you this time. I'll be back soon with another video. In the meantime, you take care of yourselves, okay? And I'll see you in the next one.